hydraulic valve is a mechanism which easily lets a liquid or gas through in one direction, but hardly so in the opposite one. Regular valves contain moving parts. But in 1916, Nikola Tesla invented and patented a valve that has no moving parts in it. This valve consists of a central canal joined by side canals, which reverse the flow. This is how Tesla reasoned. In its direct flow, the liquid would move along the central canal and the side ones will not hinder it in any way. Moving in the reverse direction, at first the flow bifurcates, then the liquid current from the side canal meets the flow coming from the central one, slows it down and deflects it. This happens many times on each segment of the valve. To start with, let us see how Tesla valve works in an Algudu program model. We create two valves, one with a direct and the other with a reverse flow variant. Then we make water run down them as a result of gravitation. We can see that at the moment water is flowing through the direct valve, but not through the reverse one. Let's see what happens next. That's unexpected. The liquid has left both vessels almost simultaneously. Is it because water in a computer model is not real? Let's make the same experiment using real water. This is a 3D printed valve. Let's see how quickly the water will move through a Tesla valve from the first to the second red mark. Without a valve, it takes 15 seconds. With a direct flow valve, it takes 26 seconds. Whereas with a reverse flow valve, the flowing down takes 22 seconds, which is a shorter time. The valve does work, but not the way we expected. And anyway, the difference in flow time between the direct and the reverse valve variants is rather small. Perhaps the valve will work properly with air in it instead of water. Let's see how it lets through the air which comes out of a balloon. For the balloon to have the same volume, we shall control its size with the help of a lath frame. Without the valve, the balloon deflates in 15 seconds. Now, if we connect a direct flow valve to the balloon, it deflates in 40 seconds. With the reverse flow valve, the balloon deflates in 37 seconds, which is 3 seconds quicker. Well, it turns out that Tesla valve has not shown its incredible qualities concerning either water or air. Perhaps we should change the construction or the experiment conditions. We don't know. Do you think you could explain what the trick is? Write your ideas on this in the comments to this video or on YouTube.